Hello there. Welcome back to Thriving Generation with Dr. G. It's another exciting day and a good day to thrive. Today we have with us a thriving sister. She is doing awesome in the food industry, taking her own path, living her own life and making an impact in her generation. I hope you stay with us to the very end and please if you haven't subscribed by now, subscribe to the Thriving Generation channel. Like this video if you love the content and share with others at the end of watching. Let's go ahead and meet our guest for today. Priscilla, could you please introduce yourself to the thriving generation? Okay, um, so I am Priscilla Adams and um, CEO of Wache Palace. So, um, so far, okay, so now I think this is what you should know about me. <laughs> okay, thank you. But let's go back into your educational background um, before you became the CEO. What courses have you taken so far? Have you been to school? People are looking and they would love to know your educational background. Okay, um, so um, I completed SHS Salvation Army Senior High School in Oda, Eastern Region. Okay. Then from there, I went to um, KNUST. Okay. So coming from my University of Science and Technology. I did history and sociology. <laughs> yeah, I went there to stop waving. We are here, tech people. Yay. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Please go ahead. So, yes. So, yeah, did, I did history and um, sociology. So, from school, I did uh, my service on campus, internal mm. audit administration. So, from that, then I went into my business starting watch a palace yes okay so let's get into the exciting conversation how did watch a palace come about you have a degree so at what point did you decide that this is where i want to go um, um as i said um or as i say every day watch a palace started from first year on campus um okay. the idea started from first year on campus you know i'm an accra based person so when i came to kumasi I was simply looking for a nice watch to buy. Okay. Um, and a crack kind of watch to buy. And I was not getting the vibe. I wasn't getting the taste of a crack kind of watch. So I was where the idea came from that. Why don't I sell an a crack kind of watch? So it was like I saw a problem and I wanted to fix it. Some yeah. sort of. Yeah. I love that was that. where the idea came from. I love through that. school I kept entertaining kept entertaining the idea I kept I mean it was it was a thought it was just growing in me it became a dream I wanted to realize it and that was it okay okay before you go any further please the Kumasi people would like to know the difference between Accra <laughs> kind of watching and Kumasi kind of watching okay excellent um, <laughs> they would have to Test hey. um, watch <laughs> yes, to know that car kind of watch. This is market to know. <laughs> I know right? Amazing. Please yes. Kumasi, mm -hmm. go ahead and try a car kind of watch and let me know the yes. difference. I would it like should. to know. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> that's that's it. Great. But you still went ahead to finish school and finish exactly. national service. Did somebody motivate yes. you or did somebody encourage you to go ahead and follow this passion or you got yourself to that point um the i i didn't tell anybody about it oh okay you know, yes um you know when when you start a dream or when you have a thought like that you have to convince yourself you can do it okay. you have to let the dream grow on you okay you have to put yourself into the dream so much so that if if somebody discourages you, you'd know the kind of advice to take and which not to take. Mm. You know, a lot of people get discouraged with their dreams because 
just when they thought about it, they went out about telling people, this is what I want to do. And everybody has an opinion, you see. And no matter how strong you think you are, people's opinion can really bring you down. Yeah. So I did not tell anybody about it till I completed. Then I knew the kind of people in my life that I needed their advice. Okay. Yes. So after I completed, then I knew this person is a paramount person in my life that I would need to know what he or she has to say about this dream. Mm. So that was where the motivation started from. Okay. So that was when I spoke to my my father in the Lord, my pastor and my mother in the Lord, Pastor Brenda. And they were so excited mm. about the idea. And they were like, go for it. You can do it. So uh-huh. you see, that was the motivation. Wow. Yes. Wow. I love that. I love that. Don't rush to share with people. Build the foundation before you even share. That's amazing. That's amazing. So then did you need a huge capital to get started? Yes. Yes. You know, sometimes um, there's a lot of saying that um, you don't need so much money to start a business. You just need the idea. But should be told, you actually need money. Mm. You need money. So if, even if it means you should go and work and gather money, to come and build your dream, do it. Mm-hmm. Because you can't you can't use that. You can't go and tell your landlord that you have an idea so he should give you um, his space. Mm-hmm. You know, and in Ghana, yeah, people don't invest in ideas. With people investing big when it's already big. Yeah. So you need, I needed the money. And fortunately or unfortunately for me, um, I lost my dad right um, after I completed so the little money that came to us as children that is what my brothers and I decided to use it to rent um, a space and when we were going to rent the space all the money we had was exactly what the landlord was taking oh okay exactly that so if we should pay for that rent that means that we have nothing to even buy anything you know so we just have to convince the landlord to take part so that we can start running and later fulfill our payments and he agreed so if you ask me whether i needed money or big capital yes it's very very important i'm so sorry about your dad may he still rest in peace amen so um am i getting the idea that you are running this with your family your siblings I'm running it with my brother. Your yes, brother. my brothers. Yes, because I'm the elders and they are there. So I had to tell them that, you know what, this is what we have. The money, it was, it's, it's not so much big. It's just some small money and it would disappear. in. So we have mm. to put it somewhere. Mm. And God being so good with the business, I was able to take care of our little boy through secondary school. So he oh. completed Mm, yes mm, mm, that's amazing yeah so that's how we went about that's amazing thank you so much for sharing so I would like to know how long you've been in this business first okay. mm-hmm. we are in our third year wow wow yes. Wow, that's amazing. Several of us, we have dreams, right? We have yes. goals that we want to pursue, but we get afraid to even start. We are not here to tell people that it's easy, okay? So I want you to start by sharing with us the challenges you've encountered in your three-year journey. And then we will also talk about the successes so that we won't kill people's dreams. <laughs> Yes. So the challenges, <laughs> it's, um, it started with, um, help, help. you know, mm. getting someone or someone believing a friend or someone believing to support you. Just that, you know, um, at a point I had this friend Pearl who came around and she really did great, but then she had to go back to school. So I did everything alone, going to markets, coming back to cook, serve myself, do everything. 
at the end of the day, by the time you are going to sleep, you are so tired. And the next morning, you have to keep up. You know, yeah. there are times that it was it was hard. It was it was really hard to go on because beginning you're not making anything. Mm. You're, 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 not, you're not making anything because whatever you get, you have to put it back into the business. And I've had people, delivery guys, taking my money away. Oh, and, oh my god, <laughs> it was it was hard. It was really really hard. But you know, sometimes yeah. if because of the focus or because of where you want to be, because of how you've envisioned the dream to be like, you know that you are not there yet. Yeah. And you have to go through these to get there. Yeah. You see, so that is what we keep holding on to. So the vision we've cast there for ourselves and we know we can do it. Mm. So the challenges they are there, and even now they are still there. You know, but we are grateful for strength mm. and grace to so just keep on. Great, great. So your challenges had to do with the start of the business, getting help. And how did you get yourself credible? How did people start trusting you and keeping your clients coming again to you? Yes, um, I think it's the consistency. Okay. Mm. Yes, because sometimes you you have the taste. I have the taste. I have the nice nice shuttle, nice watching, nice mm. stew, mm. and all that. <laughs> but it's the consistency. It's you know sometimes people would buy from you not because you have a good taste, okay. but because they keep seeing you coming. You're always coming. Okay, so let me try. Let me try, and that's how you you get people and. The, you 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 credible you are credible to them okay. they know that's what they're looking for this kind of what she they'll get it from you so you see sometimes even when we want to give up we don't want we don't want to give up we would come and we'll keep coming and that's how we sell ourselves so the consistency i think is what really gave me the gave me the trust or gave people the trust about me okay Okay, that sounds great. We will learn to be consistent. Okay, (laughs) let's talk about the success. Have you had any wonderful things coming your way because you went your own path and did what you wanted to do? Yes, yes. You know, sometimes when I sit back and I look at how far we've come, Mm -hmm. I'm so grateful. Mm. You know, um, when we started there are fears of course there would be fears you would you would be scared whether people would like it whether people would want it and all that Mm -hmm. and then you get you don't just get calls from your environment you get calls from far away I was like wow so literally if somebody in Santasa is eating wache here Mm. you know and they would pay any amount for delivery fee so to me it was one of the big successes where People would just go on Google and search. You know, every every week I go on Google and to look at my ratings and my reviews, and you see where the calls are coming from. People just going on Google to search for Watcher Palace and ordering. I was like, wow, this is wow. huge. This is huge, and for that, to me, it's 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 a it's success. Mm-hmm. It's my biggest success. Where to reach people far away. Mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. that's amazing that's really really amazing and um there are people out there listening to us they also have goals they have dreams and either they are intimidated or they don't have capital or they don't have people even cheering them on what would you say to our friends listening to us sure you know when you have a dream you have a thought you have to face it and let it grow on you. you sometimes we, we have to take our time and let the dream, the idea grow on us. Mm. We get to a point, we face all the fears possible. Because sometimes you might think someone is discouraging you or someone is being your Satan, but then someone is just projecting their fears on you. Okay. So you have to actually deal with that fear mm. even before they come and project it on you. Because whatever they are saying, it might come from a genuine heart, you know, but you have to understand from your point. When I started, my mom, my mom did not agree. Like Mm. she was, she was saying no, because she was thinking 
why would you be by a fire? It's it's this kind of jobs is for mothers. It's not for children. Mm. And it was her fear for her daughter to be cooking, stressing, you know. So I had to understand her from that point and just told her to relax. When we get there, you'd know, you'd, you'd see us. So people would come with all sorts of fears. So give yourself time to let it grow on you. Mm -hmm. Give yourself time to believe in the dream so much that if no one shows up to support you, you have yourself to move. You yeah. see, that's where you should draw your motivation from. Because you know, but some, some people just want to make it so fast. People yeah. don't think about the strategy, the structure, the slow pace. People don't want that. You see, that is where they get discouraged by funds. They get discouraged by people's opinion. Mm -hmm. They get discouraged by very, very minute things. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So take the time. I think we have to touch on one thing before we wrap up. I mean, you talked about your mom's fear of you being by the fire, but what about stereotypes concerning somebody who has a degree selling watching? Did you have people saying anything to you at all or nobody said anything? They were just looking at you like, is that my class? Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> of course, uh I had a lot. I had a lot, a lot of people saying, I mean, one time I picked, I picked Uber going to church and the driver was having a chit chat with me and asked me what I do for a living. And I said, oh, I sell Wachi. And he said, I you completed school. I said, yes. And he was like, why? Mm. I said, <laughs> and he was like, no, why should you, why? And it's like he was disgusted by the idea. Oh. And I was like, why not? There were times I'd be um, I'll be selling then my mates who had further their education, who are doing their masters, who are reading law, mm. would come in. And one time they came in and they saw me and I was like, Priscilla. I was like, yes. And they're like, oh, so we've heard about watching palace. Is it you? I said, yes, it's me. Oh Lord. <laughs> You know, to me, it was it was just interesting. It was just interesting because I love what I was doing. Yeah, I wasn't doing I wasn't doing it out of um, sadness. I wasn't doing it out of because I'm not getting a job because there is no for whatever reason that was there. I was doing it because I was happy for it. Yeah. See, so every other. Um, every other thing was just noise. I didn't really care. I didn't really care what people had to say. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You have to be in the suit and then the heels and then the makeup and in the, an office. Whether you are making money or not, nobody cares. You are <laughs> in an office. <laughs> That's amazing. Yes. I, I, let, me say, let me say this. I remember one time I was mm -hmm. going to the market in the morning mm -hmm. and I was standing by the roadside and you know when, when you're going to the market you can't really dress so well because the market women you know they'll cheat you so we have we have a way of dressing to go to the market mm -hmm. and I was standing by the roadside and there was this woman um, this lady who is my mate mm -hmm. she was in a car and it's been a long time I saw her mm -hmm. and she was in a car going to work and she saw me standing by the roadside and she called me Priscilla and you could see from her facial expression, like, is this you? Like, <laughs> <laughs> what happened to you? <laughs> I, was, I was standing there and I was looking at her mm -hmm. and I was, wearing, I was wearing bathroom slippers. And mm. I was really, I had a scarf on. Mm. I mean, I was, <laughs> and she was just looking at me and she was in a bath. She was just looking at me. Priscilla, then I was like, yeah, how are you? I said, I'm fine. Then you could see everything in her face. Like, mm -hmm. is everything okay? It's life treating you bad? Like, you bad? <laughs> yes, life is treating me bad, but my account looks good. <laughs> no. So I was just looking at her and the boss just, <laughs> just left and she was, I started laughing. When she left, I started laughing. I was like, I know there are a million questions in this girl's head. And 
she's just wondering (laughs) it's interesting it's so interesting yeah it's, yes. it's really real it's real like people expect you to yeah. live a certain way and then sometimes that causes us to live outside of our means because we are trying to portray a certain look for people to see so I don't know if you have anything based on all these experiences you have anything to share with people listening to us and they may want to do this thing but it doesn't look good in the eyes of people what should they do, Priscilla? It's hard, you know. What will my mother say? What will my father say? Exactly. It's very, very hard. It's very, very hard, you know. Especially we live in a society where um everybody thinks they have an opinion to oh. throw on you, mm-hmm. and no matter what, you should take it. You see, and we live in a society where we have to be respectful. Mm. Sort of. You know, you can't go against what your elder elders are saying. Mm. So it, it, it becomes very, very hard. But I mean, if you know what you are going for, sometimes um, I, I read somewhere that um, I've forgotten. It was talking about how uh, those that change the world are not good people. Mm. Those that change the world are not respectful. Mm. You know? And it's true because yeah. if if you want to be good and respectful, you might not really live your dream. You you would leave people's um, opinion of you. You leave people how people think. And should be told, they don't really care. They don't yeah. care. Nobody cares. They don't care. They just drop their opinion on you and they they go. So it's up to you to whether to hold on to that opinion or let it go. You see, so sometimes. I, I believe it, it's about holding on to whether um, their opinion or not. Because these same people, when they see you make it, they would want to be associated with you. Oh, yes. Definitely. So why would you want to destroy yourself? And these same people, when you don't make it, they are the same ones that are going to say it. You see, so everything is about you. Everything is about you. When, when the opinions are breaking you down, it's 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 real it would break you down but then after pick up yourself and do it yeah. and keep going i mean that is that is all that matters the moving forward mm-hmm. keep going yes wow. wow wow thank you so much we are going to move forward it's our yeah. life it's our choice we are going to live it's our terrible. lives for us at the end of the day we are individuals okay at the end of the day. Yeah. So tell us about Wachi Palace. Where can we find it? What do you provide? I know you have delivery, but where exactly do you deliver to? Tell us everything. We want to try. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so we are on KNST campus, okay. um, IEDRC gate, okay. going towards engineering gate. You locate okay. us on your left side. You see our 3D, so huge. Watch it palace. Okay. Wow. Yes. Of all the watch it, this is the palace. The Palace of All Watches. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. And we do deliveries too. We go everywhere. Okay. Yes. Um, you can call us on uh, 0553 689 785. Mm. And you can locate us too on all social media platforms Twitter, Instagram. Yes. So Watch a Palace on Twitter, Watch a Palace on Instagram. Yes. You would find us and Google us too. Google can wow. just direct you to our place. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Everybody has to try. Please try yeah. and leave feedback. And leave feedback also under this video. We want to know the difference sure. between Accra, yeah. Wache, and Kumasi Wache. Because I need to know. I really need to know the Accra oh. kind of Wache. Because I have my own flavor in my mouth <laughs> that I'm thinking of right now. <laughs> You know, Akka, Akka, we have this green leaf we sell watch it in. Yes, yes, yes. That's that's what we use. So you don't use bowls and plates and... No. Even if you are eating a day, it's still in the green leaf. You know, that there, there are so many times people walk in and they're like, I'll eat it here and um, dine in. And they see me serving the green, green leaf and they're like, hello, please. I said, I'll eat it here. I'm like, yeah, you're eating in, in this. Oh, really? Yeah. So... <laughs> We we it's the green leaf, so that's one of the Accra kind of experience, you know. Mm. 
Yes. And I guess that is also environmentally friendly. So friendly. Um, yes. Less plastic, less things to exactly. trash. So that's also good. Thank you so much for joining us, Priscilla. Queen Thank Mother you. of Watch of Palace. You are doing amazing. Keep on pushing. And I'm sure everybody will support you. We are supporting you from up here. And I'm going to send somebody over a secret to try the Accra. Hey. You <laughs> should. Well, thriving generation, you hear, you just heard from Priscilla. She's doing great out there. She's motivated you. We hope that you get out there and live your dreams for yourself. If you have questions for Watcher Palace, you can meet them. Oh, you can reach out to them on the social media platforms. Priscilla just mentioned, or I, I would leave the link also in the description so that you can click on it and reach out to it. Place your order, support them, and please. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.